How you start your day is going to determine how the rest of your day goes. I'm going to share with you three pillars that you can use that are really easy to implement so that you can have a fantastic day. And the first one that I wanna share with you that I've been implementing over the past month that has made a major difference for me is getting outside within the first hour of waking up. Now this has everything to do with your biology. Let me explain. See, sunlight helps trigger the release of cortisol. Cortisol is what helps you feel what I like to call the three A's. Awake, alert, and aware. It also subtly signals to the nervous system when it's appropriate to secrete the hormone known as melatonin. And if you didn't already know, melatonin is the one that helps you fall asleep. Now, melatonin is actually triggered by darkness. So if you remain in low light environments when you wake up, there is a good chance that your body's circadian rhythm is gonna get thrown off. And it's going to be secreting that melatonin way too early on in the day at times when you should be feeling like you're awake. Okay, the second pillar to a fantastic day is reflective time. If you have watched any of my previous videos before, then you would know that you shouldn't be checking your phone first thing in the morning. So what could you be doing instead other than just getting outside? Well, the good thing here is, is you do have a few options. You're just gonna pick which one is right for you. Your options are, you can go for a walk or a run. This is gonna help with endorphins and it's also gonna get you outside. You could start writing in your gratitude journal about three things that you're grateful for. This is gonna bring all the nice things that you have in your life to the forefront of your mind. Or you can focus on setting an intention for the day. Now there's heaps of other things that you can do. And you can do a combination of them or you can do just one of them. The important thing here is, is that you wanna make this time reflect reflective and purposeful. As I said in the beginning of this video, how you start your day is pretty much going to determine how the rest of your day goes. I know that if I start my day is rushed and fast paced, then the rest of my day is gonna follow that as well. Now the pillar to kind of wrap all of it together is this third one over here, and that is wake up for the routine, not for work, not for school, not for uni. When we wake up for anything but the routine or for ourselves, for this work, for this school, for this uni, what happens here is, is that we only give ourselves enough time in the morning just for that. Like there is no time that we schedule for ourselves in the morning. And so we don't think about setting an intention for the day. We don't start off the day for ourselves. We end up starting the day for work. And like, who wants to do that? And I'm sure you've had experiences before where you've just pressed snooze. Like you do want to wake up for work that day. You do want to wake up for school that day. And you're like, nah, stuff it. All right, just five more minutes in bed. And however many minutes or hours later, you wake up feeling really flustered and really anxious. So you rush to get ready, you pack your bag really quickly, and then you head off to school, you head off to work. And then invariably when you get there, you realize you forgot something at home, whether it be your drink bottle, whether it be you know your laptop, maybe your pencil case, like you forgot something at home. Like I'm sure you've had that experience before. And that's why when we wake up for our day, when we wake up for ourselves, when we wake up for the routine, right? It means that we can actually start waking up for what we want. We can start waking up for our own peace of mind in life. Right? We start waking up for ourselves in the in every single light that we want to be. We start putting ourselves first. And when this happens, it means that we can actually start doing things that can actually make us really happy. And like I said, like there's there's a subtle science between you know how you start your mornings off. If you start them off happy, if you start them off like feeling really good about yourself, really good about your day, then that's gonna determine how you look at the rest of your day as well. Like I remember um, being in a session once where I was speaking with a few students and they kept on telling me like, like Himal, like we, sometimes when we have maths first period, we hate mathematics. And then when they, and like the, the example that I gave them was that like, if you go into school and you determine that you hate mathematics and you have maths first period and you're saying to yourself, I hate maths, I can't stand maths, right? I can't stand this teacher. Then you're gonna go into that classroom and you're gonna literally look at that teacher, at that subject in that way because you've predetermined how you're gonna feel. Like you've already decided how you're going to feel before you even get into the classroom. You've already decided how you feel before you even get to work, right? I'm tired, I hate doing this. I don't wanna work on this today. Like you've already like created those feelings within you. So your mind only going to look for that as you're navigating the rest of your day which is not a great way to start. Whereas when we start off the day slow, when we start off the day for the routine, we're setting the intention, we're preparing ourselves for greater things, we're being grateful for what we have in life. And so when we start off the day like this, then we're gonna go to work exactly like that. Yeah, sure, there's gonna be times when we're not gonna enjoy the work, we're not gonna enjoy, you know, whatever the teacher's teaching. Like, I'm sure there's gonna be experiences like that, but we don't have to let it get in the way of our mindset. We don't have to let it get in the way of what we're there to do. 
Now I do understand there's a really big thing around this routine about like, you know, what time you go to bed and like uh, what time you eat before going to bed. In fact, there's a quote that I wanna share with you from Andrew Huberman, and that is, what we do in the waking state determines when we fall asleep, how quickly we fall asleep, whether or not we stay asleep and how we feel when we wake up the next day. Now I'll dive into this whole routine thing and I'll share my own routine with you as well in another video. So if you wanna be there for that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, then you actually might like this one right here. In this video, I share with you three things that you do that actually cost you your day. So make sure you go check that out. As always, I'll see you in the next one. I hope you have a good day, a good week, a good month, a good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world, and I'll catch you later. Bye.